guys, what's up? It's Tony G here. Uh, tonight, I am going to be showing you the uh, holster that I finished. The uh, Mackenzie holster. The do-it-yourself one for my PPQ. Um, it came out very well, actually. Uh, because I had to do it myself. And I'm pretty proud of it. It fits good. And uh, so first, what I'm going to do is uh, do the turnaround inspection here. Let's see if it really uh, shows out anywhere. Okay. And then the draw itself. Of course, nothing in there, it's empty. That would be stupid to be doing a video. The, uh, the put back of it isn't actually that bad either. Just like that. Slides right in. Shirt goes over. And you're good. As you can see, it doesn't really stick out much. Considering this is a full uh, a full size gun, you know, it's really not that bad. Um, it feels comfortable. Uh, in hot weather, this could be annoying. But that's with any holster. It has nothing to do with this, this holster. But it's definitely comfortable. Uh, definitely worth the money. I enjoy wearing it. Um, being that I live in Jersey, obviously I'm limited on my ability to carry, but I do have a business that, you know, it is my own property and I can carry in it and I do exercise that right. So that's where this, this holster came into play. And, uh, there's one last, like, shot of it to show you how it fits. There's it empty. And like I said, you just guide it right back in. No problem. Push down. Good to go. I'm going to do a second part of the video now. Basically with the holster out on table, show you how it how it fits, how you know how I put it together and everything. And uh, that's it for this part guys. Alright guys, so now this is the uh, the actual holster itself. I'm gonna go over it. Um, the one that I bought, like I said, is it it's the do it yourself. And um, the what all you get is the you, you get all the parts, but you get the leather piece with no holes in it. You get the uh, preform for whatever the gun is that you ordered, and you get the the uh, the screws, the metal clips, and you get the uh, the fasteners for the leather itself. Now, <coughs> something that I did for myself on this. Um, and I found it helped a little bit. I'm not saying that anyone has to do this, and it's just something that I did, uh, was that I found that, uh, if you oil the leather a little bit with, uh, I use mineral oil, you just, like, put just a little, little bit, like, very lightly on a piece of, like, uh, you could do it, like, with cloth or, you know, a paper towel or whatever, and you just lightly put it on here, and then you put... You, uh, you attach everything, and then you put the gun and you leave it. I find that it, it formed better that way for me, and uh, it holds its shape. And also, um, once you assemble it, because the, the leather is, you know, it's stiff, it has to be worked. Um, it, uh, it formed better. I, le I, I wore it for about, like, two days whenever I was home and whatever not to, to keep it formed to me, uh, to have it formed to me. And, um, it, it just, it worked better for me that way. Uh, some people may suggest against doing that, but I found it worked for me. Um, the leather comes, uh, I like usually finished on this side, and unfinished on that side. It is comfortable. Um, I have no complaints for this whatsoever. It's, it's great holsters, definitely, as I had mentioned earlier, worth the money. And, uh, I highly recommend, uh, McKenzie holsters for anyone. And, you can see there, the, uh, stamp that he puts. And it's, you know, it, it was definitely just a great deal. And, uh, really not hard to do. And, I don't know what else better I could really say about it. It's just, you know, it works great. And the price is very reasonable 
and it's a product that, you know, you get everything you need. So, just want to say thanks for, uh, for watching my, uh, my video here, and I'll catch you guys later.